Two by. Perfect. Now, all of these squares are their own individual apps. Hulu is its own app. Prime Video is its own app. Disney is its own app. They have nothing to do with each other, but they are all apps. We have Prime Video and we also have Netflix. So I want you to go down and find Netflix now. Find it. There it is, there. Okay, so see this square right here? This is what's controlling the TV. Oh, so I have to put that down on Netflix. So go down, yep, go down. And then Boom. push OK. Then you're on Netflix, click on it. Put OK? Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. You're in that. Yay. All right. Okay. <laughs> what is sustainability? Sustainability this means uh, you can uh, live uh, with uh, oh. that environment. Uh, that coexisted uh, with the environment. That is a uh, is a uh, kind of sustainability. 对你来讲最难的英文单词，这十个里面是哪一个？这个，真的哈、哦啊、？OK， 因为 about the pros and cons of working from the office versus working from the home. What do you prefer? Uh, I prefer work at home. Yeah. Thank you. Working from home too. I will prefer work in the office. I think it's better for me to work in the office because I have more efficiency, especially when I boss it right like behind me. So your preference is work from home or no? Um, yeah, work from home. You still hope to work from home, <laughs> still want to work from but home. you know you get a little lazy. If you work in a home, there's a convenient sofa, and this you can sit on very immediately. Then you sleep for maybe 10 hours, then you just walk 10 minutes, so that's too bad. Okay. I think uh, working at home have more flexible time, and I can clean my room and <laughs> playing my computer or somebody uh, else. Actually, I think working from home have three advantages. Oh. Um, first of all, I think is um, the employee can be more convenient and more comfortable because they work at home and they can do anything they want. And they, making, <laughs> they may have a more sleepy time. Yes. Okay, and yeah. secondly, I think <laughs> they don't have to spend lots of time in transportation. Ah, that's true. Okay. Yes, and last but not least, I think it's about maybe they can enhance their efficiency when working from home. But if you're a boss, 然后你开一家公司，然后真的可以 work from home 的性质。Let's say your your office, your company can do that. Do you really want your employees to work from home every day or half and half? Half and half. Half and half. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See, if you're the boss, it's a little different. Oh, I think that the best um, the best solution is that I can get get to work from home from maybe Monday to Wednesday, and I can uh, complete the project. On Thursday and Friday, yeah. Monday to Wednesday, work in the office. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Stay at home, Stay at home right? Yeah. That's a good suggestion. Natasha should be a boss, man. Yeah. Do you know what is Joss paper? Um, it has to do with what is happening today, actually, for our recording. Today. The whole month, but today especially. I used to burn it. Burn it? Oh, jing zhi. That's right, jing zhi. Okay, 要念对哦，金纸。对你来讲最难的英文单词，这十个里面是哪一个？这个。真的哈、哦。对。Okay， 因为它有点学名了。对，医学。那有点像是医学界里面的东西了。Dengue fever。它很好联系。Dengue fever。非常好联系。Fever 应该知道吧 ？Fever。就感冒嘛。发烧，发烧。哦，对，好。那 Dengue 是一种热。夏天呢？哦、oh, ，对对对，夏天。跟 mosquitoes 有关的。哦、oh, ，国语是直直译过来，音译，音要音译过来，直接翻过来。真够热。Yeah. <笑> What is sustainability? Sustainability this means you can live with that environment、yes. and you know that yes, coexisted with the environment that is. Is a kind of sustainability. 好像在读那个英英字典，英文还要翻成英文那样子。So good. So to have the environment to stay for a long time, to persist for a long time, or in Chinese we actually just call 永续 right? Yes. What is a transaction? I 
think it means 交交易。交易 ，That's right， 一个交易 transaction， 它叫 semiconductor。这是台湾一个引以为傲的产业。台湾这个产业是龙头，而且听说呢，我们的位置啊，离第二名是遥遥的领先呢、啊。是高科技的东西，你认为 semiconductor 是什么行业？是什么样的东西？台湾三个字中文，可能它的股票也蛮好的。哦，真的吗？可以买一下。半导体。半导体。OK， semiconductor 因为 semi 就是一半的意思， conductor 就是导电的意思，所以它是半导体了。Right. Hey hey， we're at Key Long Night Market， Miao Ko， time to eat。And we want to teach you English, okay? 要教大家有些美食怎么英文怎么讲。简单的，比如我们常吃鹅啊煎好了。I know. What do you say? Oyster omelet. Oyster omelet. We all know this one, okay? How about 盐酥鸡 or 咸酥鸡 ？Wow, this is a bit tough, but I would say Taiwanese fried chicken. Ah, I call it TFC. But some people say you can call it salty and crispy chicken as well. Ah, I see. 因为咸酥鸡。Salty, crispy chicken. We're on the same table. But how about here in Jilong, Miao Ko? One of my favorite food is xie rou gen or pang xie gen. Xie rou gen. I've never heard that before. You've never had it? Never. Look to the side. Oh. Da na. And this side. Da na. All about the crab thick soup. That's how you call it. Wow, sounds so delicious. Crab 就是螃蟹嘛。那根其实统称就叫 thick soup， 因为它很浓厚。So it's a thick soup. Now you guys know. Learn a little bit of English through food, and let's have some crab thick soup right now, right? Oh wow, this is so cool. You know what? On the internet, I read Si Shen Tang. Some people translate it as Four Heavenly Soup or something like that. Just it's in a Si Shen Tang. Oh, it puts in a shape Four Tonic Soup. I like that. Tonic is like anything that gives you strength. Okay, not not gin tonic, but tonic. So it's called Four Tonic Soup. It's Si Shen Tang. Something really interesting. We like to eat zongzi a lot, right? And sometimes I tell people we should call zongzi just zongzi, just like we call sashimi sashimi and sushi sushi. Maybe we should call zongzi zongzi. But a lot of people like to call it rice dumpling. Ah, rice dumpling. There's so many different kinds of rice dumpling in Taiwan, right? But this one it says Dragon Festival dumpling. It's so cute because normally we eat zongzi during Dragon Boat Festival. 所以呢，把这个节日挂在上面，我觉得蛮可爱的。没有没有看过人家粽子这样子翻译，但是我觉得这值得给他一个赞。Of course, I think Taiwan's most famous food that needs to be introduced to the whole world is 卤肉饭。我觉得卤肉饭比臭豆腐更要介绍给外国人的一道台湾美食。So everybody, when you introduce people to 卤肉饭 you can call it like here. I see a lot of stands. They write braised. Pork rice, braised is 焖煮的意思 okay? Pork 就是猪肉 so braised pork rice makes sense. Sometimes I like to call it minced pork rice, minced pork rice, but that might be a little bit like 肉燥饭就像我们台湾卤肉饭跟肉燥饭搞不好有人会说不太一样 so minced pork rice is 肉燥饭 braised pork rice usually is 卤肉饭 Now you know, okay? So if we were to list out five qualities of Uh, citizens of Keelong and their English abilities. I would say number one, listening uh, comprehension is pretty good. They're willing to listen. They understand. Number two, they're very hardworking. Hardworking. Because based on their answers, they sound like they're they're very hardworking people. Number three, I think they're courageous. Ah, I see. To talk to us, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> And then number four, because we saw、uh, a bunch of different ages of people, they're they're always willing to learn, even when they're old.、Always、It's、learning. never too old to learn. 活到老学到老 And finally, their vocabulary ah,、uh, it's okay. Still some room for improvement, but they're trying. So I think these are the five characteristics based on today's、um, interviews with、yeah. with Keelong people.